now that I've installed my MPC Touch and I have everything set up, um, you'll notice first off that it's become a second monitor for my computer screen. Um, if I open up something like Google, um, if I'm not using my MPC software, I can just drag this over here and have a second monitor, which is really cool. But yeah, let's uh, launch the MPC software and get that working. So let's go down below here. We'll say MPC. And what's going to happen is when that launches, it's going to populate on the computer the MPC, but it's also going to populate the screen with the MPC interface. Um, if I had gotten myself stuck and I couldn't get the screens to work, what you want to do is you want to have the MPC on and you want to go to your system preferences and go to your displays. Inside of displays, you get the arrangement icon and in here, you can say you want to turn off your mirror display. You don't want it to be mirror display because it's two separate screens that are going on. I know a lot of people have bumped into that issue getting it started. Um, so now I have the MPC set up and rolling. I need to get a sound going. Um, so what I need to do, there's two different ways to achieve that. The first way is I'll hold down shift and browse and now I can look at the content on my MPC. I'll touch up top and push this button and I can see all the different sound sets I have available. I'm going to pick the vault which comes with the MPC touch and inside of here I get a few different options. So I want to look at programs which is all of the sounds already assigned to the pads. When I go down and highlight <laughs> going to give me a little sample of that sound. I press the load button and then once I push the load button, it will populate all the pads with the sounds in that set. In this section, I'm still at the loading section, so if I highlight any of these pads green, then I can go over here and say that I want to look at the different samples and pick a single sound. Uh, let's see. I press load and now that sound will be on that pad. It sounds a little bit different because there's effects on that signal, but I can then open it up and get into the effects inside the MPC software and work that to where I want it to be. Now that I have all of the sounds in my MPC touch, all of the pads are this single color from the vault, but I want to set it up so that every color represents whatever sound is inside of there. So the way that I do that is I press menu and then I go over here and say pad color. Right now it's on all pads, so I'll select single pad, and now every single pad, based upon the sound, will have its own color. So that's all my kicks, there's my snares, got my hi-hats, some melody lines. Now I'm able to start recording and know where the sounds are and generally what they're going to be.